You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another episode of Overanalyzing, the series where I take a more in-depth look at the fictional universes which I love. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about Devilman, which obviously I've done multiple times before on both this series and the channel in general. But today I'm going to be talking about a very specific topic that I have encountered in comments. I wanted to put a disclaimer on this. This video is not me bitching about these comments, because these comments are technically correct. And I haven't received these comments for quite some time. However, I think it was something that I do feel that I want to talk about as a topic. Because it's an interesting thing when it comes to anime and manga, and just pronouncing Japanese words as a non-Japanese speaker. So today, as the title implies, we're talking about Devilman and pronunciation. Again, the things I say in this video are not definitive, this is just the way I approach these things. I am aware that many of the pronunciations I use are incorrect technically, however, I'm going to explain my thought process behind them today in this video. So what really spurred this off is I actually got quite a few comments with people questioning the way I pronounced Ryo's last name, Asuka. The technical Japanese pronunciation is Asuka, but for me, I find it a lot more difficult to say Asuka in a natural sentence. I have to stop and think about it. So if I'm talking more quickly, I'm more likely to say Asuka just because that feels more natural in my English speaking. For instance, those same people never questions the way I say Akira. Technically, Akira has the same issue with pronunciation. I should be saying Akira, but no one questions that, but they question Asuka. That's just something I thought I'd point out, but that's really what started the spur of this. And my main explanation for that is that's just the most natural way for me to pronounce it. Asuka just sounds more easy to say than Asuka for me. I don't know, it just rolls off the tongue a little bit easier. I can say Asuka, but it just feels a little bit more forced. I have to think about it. Um, there are other pronunciations, however, that I do want to discuss in this video. For instance, there is the character of Siren. Siren is an interesting one because her name is very difficult to come up with the way to pronounce it. It's been spelled multiple ways. Directly, you want to you want to go off the manga and the original Japanese. It would be Shirinu because that would be the way that you that you Romanize it. And that's how they say it in Japanese, is Shirinu. Uh, you want the most direct translation of Shirinu, you'd say uh, Siren. However, they actually explain the pronunciation of Siren's name in Devilman Lady, uh, because they're talking about how in the East they pronounce the word Siren as Siren, whereas over here in the West we pronounce it as Siren. So technically her name is Siren, it's just Siren is the Japanese pronunciation of the name. Uh, when they did the dub for the OVA, they actually called her Shirinu. They didn't bother trying to translate it, probably for that very reason. Uh, however, curiously, on the case, they spell it Siren. They don't have the little E at the end, like Siren does. And I also find it interesting that Siren has an E at the end, and somehow that makes it a smaller pronunciation. You would think it would be Sirene, or something like that, with the E at the end. Um, Siren's been spelled multiple times. S-I-R-E-N-E, uh, S-I-L-E-N-E, C-I-L-E-N-E, C-I-R-E-N-E, S-I-R-E-N, and so on. So with her name, that's why I just stick with Siren, because it is actually the translation to put it in English. It's the most direct way to actually translate it and pronounce it correctly in English. But if I were speaking Japanese, it would be more like Siren or Shirinu. All are acceptable in my book, but I just stick with Siren when it comes to her. No one's questioned me on that one before, but uh, I could see why people would if they do in the future. Um, another one, uh, this is one that's embarrassing as hell as a big Gona Guy fan. I used to mispronounce his last name. I used to think the second A in Nagai was silent, so I kept pronouncing his name as Go Nagi for the longest time, until eventually I was corrected on it. And that is one that I feel really stupid about, because it's very obvious looking at the way the name is spelled, but for some reason I had in my head that the, first, that the second A was silent, and I don't know why. Uh, other names that are very interesting to pronounce, uh, there's the character of Volva. I think he said Volva. Yes, his name is Volva, and with Volva, his name is also translated as Varava. Uh, Varava is probably the more accepted way to say it, just because uh, saying vulva is a bit odd when you know what that word means in English. Varava is a permeation of vulva in Japanese, essentially like a lot of words with L's in Japanese have the L kind of turned into an R, and extra, and extra vowels are sometimes added in in those cases. Uh, so that's how you get Varava instead of vulva. Um, with that character, I typically just call him vulva. Uh, he's had a few other different names too, um, but Varava and Volva are the two most common. Uh, other things include, you know, Kaim. Uh, Kaim is technically Kaimu in Japanese, but everyone calls him Kaim. 
Um, and again, this video is not meant to attack anyone who pronounces the names correctly, because I admire that if you're able to do that and sound natural. I don't feel like I can with some of them. There are other names I'm a stickler about, obviously, like Nagai, I make sure I say correct every single time now, because I feel like a fucking idiot if I wasn't. Not to mention it's the name of a real person, not a fictional character. Curiously enough, uh, uh I have encountered a few people, not very many, but one or two, that have, that have insisted on pronouncing it Debiru Man, and said that it's disrespectful to say Devil Man, which I find really odd, because Debiru Man is just a Japanization of the word Devil Man. It's, Debiru Man is not a real Japanese word. It's take, it's, I don't remember what it's called, but there's a thing that they do in Japanese where they take an English word and make it more Japanese. So Debiru Man is one of those cases, just like Dragon Ball would be called Doragon Baru. And ironically, the same people who, who get mad when you say Debiru Man, say Dragon Ball. <laughs> so... It's like, why do you do one but not the other? Uh, speaking of names of characters, uh, Drongo, or Durongo, as he's also known, uh, has a different name translation in the English translation of Grimoire, where he's called Nyx. I mentioned that in my review of Grimoire, uh, and that was a bit odd. They added a lot of differences in the name translations in that. Not to mention the spellings and translations of things are often different in the way they're spelled. For instance, Discotech uses a unique spelling of almost everything they do. Discotech, for instance, translates Donbei as Dompei with an M, and uh, Junpei as Jum Jum pay with an M. So that's a bit odd. Nothing else does that. Uh, I will admit with Donbei and Junpei, I actually do for I use the regular pronunciation for Donbei with an N, but I, I often use Junpei with an M because it's just that's how it comes out. But since that's an official translation, I don't know if you can really question me on that. I mean, you can, of course. It's one thing that's difficult because obviously romanizing words can be kind of difficult. Interestingly enough, with discotech spellings, there are a lot of other little differences, like a lot of things will translate Alphon, the male Alphon, as Alphonse. And discotech is the only one who refers to him as Alphon, uh, whereas all of the others refer to the female Alphon as Alphon and the male one as Alphonse. Technically, discotech is correct in this regard because his name is just Alphon, but I think that the reason other places call him Alphonse is to make it easier to differentiate between the two, even though, in my opinion, they're basically the same character since they're just gender swaps. Also, the male Alphon came first. Uh, he was written in some, like, obscure Gonagai manga that I don't remember the name of and I've never read, uh, but he was first in that, and then he was in Devilman 1972, and then later on there was the female Alphon in Cutie Honey. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the pronunciation of character names. Uh, obviously, this video is not meant to question the way anyone pronounces any of the names, because it's confusing as hell when it comes to this franchise. But I thought I'd get this off my chest and just point out some of my reasoning for why I say the character names the way I do. Like I said before, just to reiterate, it's mainly just because that's how it feels more natural for me to say it. When speaking in a full English sentence, I can't simply say Ryo Asuka, because that just throws me off a little bit and I have to think about the way I'm saying it. I always say Ryo Asuka. And sometimes I fuck up and say Ryu instead of Ryo. I'm surprised no one's called me out on that one, because that one I think is a lot more glaring, because I've constantly gone back and said Ryu instead of Ryo, and I've fucked up on that. Uh, there's been other times when, uh, I'm moving away from Devilman slightly, uh, I just uploaded my JoJo Part 5 review at the time I'm recording this, right? And I... It bugged the hell out of me listening back to it, but I said Dopio's name as Dopeo instead of Dopio for a lot of that video, and I have no idea why, because I don't remember doing that in the recording. But yeah, that there's little things like that that still throw me off, too. I used to mispronounce the word cicada. I used to say Kikada, which sounds really fucking retarded. In my first review of Higarashi, I said, when the Kikadas cry, which just sounds dumb. It just sounds awful, and I... It's really embarrassing. Um, and, uh, for instance, speaking of Higarashi, there's the character of, uh, of Reina. Um, her name is technically Rena, and Reina was her original name. But I always say Reina when I'm referring to her. I've never once said Rena. Uh, just because Reina it makes more sense to me logically because Reina is more of a name. Uh, Rena is a name, I'm sure, but Reina is a lot more common. Not to mention Reina is her original name. And when they say it in Japanese, they sound very, very similar. So it throws me off a lot. Um, other things, there's uh, Keichi. Uh, I always say Keichi. I've heard some people say Keichi. They actually say Keichi in the dub. Um, also, speaking of very similar sounding name in uh, Golden Wind, uh, there's Koichi. Uh, I've, I've actually con gone back and forth on that between calling him Koichi or Koichi. I kind of use them interchangeably without even realizing it. Um, but yeah, this is a bit of a tangent here, but yeah. 
Let me know your thoughts on pronunciation in the comments below. Um, and uh, if you think this was even a video worth making. <laughs> anyway, this has been Fugitive Red Eye. Have a great day. Subscribe to Fugitive Red Eye.